Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to take up another challenging question from radical mathematics. We have to evaluate the expression x times x square plus 3x plus 3 over x plus 1 whole power 5 once x is given to us. So let's consider x as numerator over denominator as it is in the form of rational and let us call this expression which we have to calculate as e. So I will calculate n and d separately. So let me write here n equal to. I will be writing here fifth root of 16 minus fifth root of 8 plus fifth root of 4 minus fifth root of 2 plus 1. Now I will use one binomial expansion formula. It is a power 5 plus 1 is straight away. So we can write it equal to a plus 1. In other bracket, we will have a 4 minus a cube plus a square minus a plus 1. Now let's substitute a equal to fifth root of 2. So I will be writing a power 5. So it will become fifth root of 2 whole power 5 plus 1 in LHS. In RHS it will be fifth root of 2 plus 1 times a power 4. So 2 power 4 fifth root of 16 minus a cube 2 cube fifth root of 8. 2 e square fifth root of 4. 2 minus fifth root of 2 plus 1. And if you will check this second bracket, it is nothing but our numerator. So I will cancel this fifth root and power 5. So left hand side it is 2 plus 1. Right hand side it is fifth root of 2 plus 1 times numerator. So from here I can write our numerator value it will be 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 over fifth root of 2 plus 1 similarly i will calculate denominator also let me write here d d equal to this was fifth root of 256 plus fifth root of 64 plus fifth root of 16 plus fifth root of 4 plus 1. Now I will consider the binomial expansion formula for a power 5 minus 1. It will be equal to a minus 1. In other bracket it will be a power 4 plus a cube plus a square plus a plus 1. Now let us substitute a equal to fifth root of 4. So I will write our LHS as fifth root of 4 whole power 5 minus 1. RHS will be fifth root of 4 minus 1 and bracket a power 4 4 power 4 it is fifth root of 256 now a cube 4 cube is 64 so next term will be fifth root of 64 4 is square is 16 so fifth root of 16 fifth root of 4 and last term is plus 1 as it is now you can see easily this second bracket is our denominator. So I will write this fifth root and power 5 we will cancel. So it is left with 4 minus 1. This is fifth root of 4 minus 1 times d. Left hand side is 3, right hand side is fifth root of 4 minus 1 times d. So from here we are getting d value as 3 over 5th root of 4 
minus 1. We have calculated n, we have calculated d. Let us plug in in the x value. So I will write x equal to n over d. What was the value of n? It was 3 over fifth root of 2 plus 1. Now, if I will write straight away 1 over d value, then it is fifth root of 4 minus 1 over 3. So, I can cancel 3 with 3. So, it is left with fifth root of 4 minus 1 over fifth root of 2 plus 1. Now, I can write the numerator right now. It can be written as fifth root of 2 whole square minus 1 whole square divided by fifth root of 2 plus 1. And here I have used property a power b whole power c can be written as a power c whole power b. Swap the exponents. Now I will use difference of two squares identity. You can see this is a square, this is b square. So I can write a plus b. So fifth root of 2 plus 1 times fifth root of 2 minus 1. And denominator is fifth root of 2 plus 1. Now I can cancel numerator and this bracket. Now x is converting into the most simplified form x is equal to fifth root of 2 minus 1. Now let us calculate this expression, required expression. Let us write over there. So I will be writing here x is equal to fifth root of 2 minus 1. Add 1 to both sides. So x plus 1 will be equal to fifth root of 2. Now I will consider power 5 both sides as our denominator of the expression. It is power 5. So I will write here x plus 1 whole power 5. Right hand side it will become 2 power 1 over 5 whole power 5. Now a power b whole power c, it is equal to a power b c. So I will write here 2 power 1 over 5 times 5. So this will be over. It is converting into 2. So I will write here x plus 1 whole power 5 is now 2, which I will substitute here. Now let us calculate the value of x times x square plus 3x plus 3. So I will write our x plus 1 value. I will write this is equal to fifth root of 2. Let us consider cube or cubing this equation. So I will write x plus 1 whole cube equal to fifth root of 2 whole cube. Now using the property of exponent, we can write it is fifth root of 8. Let's calculate x plus 1 whole cube. So x plus 1 whole cube value will be fifth root of 8. Now a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. This is expansion for x plus 1 whole cube. Right hand side is fifth root of 8. Now if you will notice this numerator, if I will take x common from here, then it will become x square plus 3x plus 3 plus 1 equal to fifth root of 8. So from here I will calculate. I will got our value x square plus 3x plus 3 times x. This value will be equal to fifth root of 8 minus 1. 
now our expression value will be x times x square plus 3x plus 3 divided by x plus 1 whole power 5. So this is fifth root of 8 minus 1 and x plus 1 whole power 5 was 2. So our ultimate and final answer for this expression is fifth root of 8 minus 1 over 2. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.